I'd like to welcome you now to the Wing Heart production area where we get sheets of glass and then we cut them down into strips, send them to the glass cutting table, to the printing table, to the hand painting area where the paint glass are mixed. This is where all the pieces of glass end up as beautifully hand-painted items for sale in many cathedral and museum gift shops in the UK and indeed USA and all around the world. So this has been our same process, hand process, for the last 25 years with Winged Heart. So Carolyn here is cutting the strips uh, and it's amazing how fast you can go uh, but doing quality work, not too fast. That's it. Now Carolyn will go round to the, her glass cutting bench, take the strips, and then she will use a cutting tool to make them into round rules, so they end up as circular round rules, this shape, beautifully cut without any jagged bits. And this is how we do it. Very special, very simple little tool. And what, what the tool is doing is it has a, a, a little steel wheel and that wheel makes a point of weakness on the glass. The glass almost wants to crack. And there's a wheel on the end of her cutter as well. So again, she's making a scratch. And then she turns it over and presses it out. And we've got a, a, a cunning roller uh, which presses it out. There you are, look, the first one. <laughs> right now and so if she's lucky she's going to try and get five out of five strips 100 percent right and she's got the eye to know that that but she's she's quality control checked it uh and this one's no there they are, we've lost one you <laughs> must know we're going to be photographing <laughs> anyway so well, well done karen but uh, so she's just with lots of these, and these are the basis in the end for the next stage, which is the hand printing. This is a screen, I'll just introduce this. This is a method the Chinese used 3000 BC with silk screens. And it's still essentially the same hand process, except we now use nylon rather than silk. Photographic wax which covers the whole screen. So these are in fact negatives. So all these are our original hand drawings kingfishers and dragonflies, but also heraldic, that's Eton College. If you look here, you can see these are the holes through which black ink is going to drop, so it's a negative. So where you see white here is going to be black on the glass. We'll just come down and, and see Emily, who's doing the same. Emily's now preparing the image. Emily will now mask off this image, so the black ink will only go through that one image. So these are squeegee rubbers, um, that's green rubber in a wooden base, and Emily will just pour ink on, on here, and then she will pull it across, and the rubber will, just by pure pressure, will push the ink through the, um, the negatives, and you'll end up with, with a black print on the glass, doves a piece. So you, you'll see Emily doing this in a, in a moment. This is very, very valuable to us because it's open plan, lovely exposed beams. We, we really enjoy being here. The, the su sunlight can through here into the room lights. This is an old brewery building from 1850. Um, the old brewery in, is a courtyard around the back where they made beer for the citizens of Brampton, where in Brampton there was, believe it or not, there were 72 pubs. 72 pubs in, in this small market town. Um, it was an explosion because when the Duke of Wellington came back from, the, uh, from his, his war against Napoleon, he was made Prime Minister. And one of the first things he did to make it popular was to say that he took away any need to license manufacture of, of beer because they had a problem with ladies getting drunk with gin. The gin problem was, was serious. So he said, everyone must drink beer and lie around in the road having drunken beer because then they'll be fit to work next morning. You see, 
So anyway, that's a historic. That's why this brewery is here, and, um, and entertaining. But this is why we've we've inherited it. Such a wonderful building. So Emily's checking every single piece for glass bits because when the glass comes from where you've just been watching it glass, a piece of glass could rip these the screen. So now we're going to put the ink on. Um, this is not meant to be a how you could do it, or because this is widely known, screen printing is, this is hand printing, it's, as I say, it's been done by the Chinese and, uh, and many times since. But uh, it's a craft, it's a hand craft, so all we're doing, everything is, is crafted, and the skill is in the operator. Isn't that beautiful? So that's our hand original artwork, that's about 20 years old, that is. Mm -hmm. um, the original design, and, and we've, we've supply cathedrals and museums and gift shops and, um, because they are for sale in gift shops not not in then we don't put them in cathedral windows themselves we, we make uh, reproductions faithful reproduction but that one is our original our original artwork because they are asked us to can we do it so uh, so as you see, we're accumulating this. This tray, when it's finished, will then go into the oven to bake it up to a high temperature, which you have to do, because otherwise the ink will, might come off when you do the hand painting on it. So we have to bake them on. So, yes, if, if you don't do this, it will stay sticky, as Emily just says, and, and you can't paint on it. Emily should know, because she's our chief uh, painting uh, person, as you will see. So I will take this round to the um, to our uh, our oven is over there with the red light on it. There's some already in it. So these are being baked, always in wood. So we have uh, you can't leave it in forever because the the wood will burn. You can smell it. But as you can see, th this is one that's just come out. These are from Carlisle Cathedral, um, and the Nativity, a very very popular one. Um, we sell it to cathedrals all around the world. Anyway, this will go in there for 20 minutes at 150 or something like that. So it's it's not fired on. Uh, we can do fired on glass, but we then the price really goes up to 100 pounds a piece um, at our cost. So this way we can make inexpensive gifts for sale to visitors as uh, souvenirs when they get to a museum or a cathedral and. It, they want to take away something, and yes, they can buy postcards, but if they want something of a quality and craft with hand painting on every single piece, you will see in a moment how every single colour has will be a hand painted on this. So at the same time as our production processes are producing these lovely quality items, uh, parallel processes are going on to get the gift boxes ready, for instance. Uh, Every piece goes in a, a, in a gift box. And so Mandy here is um, doing a very valuable job, which is putting the window suckers, suction cups, on every piece of paper, which will then go into every gift box. People ask, how long does it take to produce one? And you, you'll, you'll have a look and one of these gifts that we sell. The answer is we don't know, because we never make one. We, we make small batches. Before we show the painting, uh, Jenna here has just come and she's cleaning up a screen because you've seen putting the black ink on the screen. If you leave the black ink on it, you will lose that screen. So the mo a very valuable thing which all printers have to do uh, is to clean up often with white spirit and such. But they, again, the quality is, has to be that every scrap of black ink has to be removed or else this very valuable screen, which costs hundreds of pounds each screen, um, will be lost forever. So that's the cleaning up operation. Right, let's head on down now. Uh, and we'll go to the paint department, introduce you to Emily again and Tilda, who is help, uh, understudy, understudy for Emily, and um, both working in the paint department. Carolyn here is also not only our glass cutter, but she's our production manager. So she she's controls this unit and the unit next door, uh, where you'll see the assembly 
and the boxing and the um, and then the, the packaging to get it out the door to the cathedral. So, so Carol is our production manager and very valuable too. So we go this way now and we'll go to the paint department. Right, now we've come into the artistic uh, area and this is our paint hand painting department. So all around here you will see 25 years worth of designs such as you've just been seeing on the squeegee and 25. All these are the samples. So each one of these is a, is a, is a sample for the painter the painter to paint. So that sample there, uh, Botany Bay in Australia, this one is, uh, Flin Port, Port Lincoln Flinders in Australia. Uh, that will be sent out to a painter together with the blanks which you printed and that will allow then the, 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 the painter to return to us 10 or 20 bespoke items for this museum in Australia. Um, so, anyway, that's, we also have paint sets all over there, vast numbers of paint sets. Anyway, here we have Tilda, who is busy mixing colours uh, in little pots, and she starts with the, the, the colours, the blank colours, which we have mixed according to our own paint formula, which we devised. This item here, can I just show you this, this one here? This is a lovely one. It's from our local church. This is um, from the, the um, pre-Raphaelite. This is um, charity, charity, I think it is. Yes. I always get it wrong. <laughs> With the children, charity. Um, there's faith, hope and charity. The three windows in Brampton Parish, St. Martin's Church. And they asked us to do this and we've done it. And, and they've allowed us to sell it to other cathedrals, which we do. Um, Oxford Christ. Uh, Christ Church College, they have uh, the same design in their, their set because Burne Jones and William Morris, who did them, uh, also glazed uh, Oxford Christ Church. Tilda has already mixed these ones. So, this is what the painter receives with a label on each one. They're filling in colours but with very, very, a lot of skill. The painter never paints one, they will, they will put down glass for half a dozen and then they'll paint all the reds and then they paint all the blues and then they paint all the greens like that. So it's a basic industrial um, production process but where you break down the hand processes into small batches. So everything we do is in small batches. Um, sounds easy but we, we, we have a lot of training to go into our ladies who are progressively taught more, more, more complex ones. So that's, that's that one. Now we move over to Emily who uh, is our multi-skilled uh, printer as well and, and Tilda is multi-skilled printer as well. Everyone can do everything. So, so what Emily is doing here is she's got this one which is a Scottish thistle. Visitors who um, go to Scotland and they want, and Scottish people too, they want just something that is, um, represents their memory of where they've been. So it is a souvenir, but it's, it's in, encapsules them, their memories, which they want to, so they can hang this in the window of their home, just like these ones here. This shows what they will do with these. Nativity, one of our most popular pieces, cathedrals all around the world take that. But there's natural ones like the uh, National Trust, every kind of design. But So Emily is here, um, just very skillfully adding the colour. Now, she can go fast because she's trained her eye and, and this is where the skill comes in. But it, literally, this is the important thing. She starts with a printed blank and Tilda does as well. And uh, but she's filling in my eyes, so she's not going over the black lines, and therein lies the skill. It's very like pottery painting in Stoke-on-Trent used to be, where the skill is in the operator. But we still have this in the borders of Scotland and Cumbria. Here we have, in this market town of Brampton, we still have these skills. So we're very pleased to be keeping these skills alive, and uh, so that people who buy our products 
can have a memory of that they, yes, they are individually hand painted, individually printed, individually hand cut, the whole process starting out with blank sheets of glass. That then completes our production process. Now we'll go next door and, and see how we assemble the goods all together. One person I'd like to introduce you to is Jill, who's our office admin manager. So if you speak to uh, over the phone, you'll know this is who you'll be speaking to, or if you send in orders, Jill will be processing them. Very important person. So uh, here she is, introduce you to Jill. Hi, okay. And with every firm comes tea time. And today, tea time again, every day. And so we're very fortunate having uh, a, a little garden for our staff to come out to. Uh, this is our adjacent annex. and. So we can sit here, if the sun's shining, we can come out here. If it's not shining, we'll be in there. Now you've just seen the paint department where Emily has been uh, painting uh, the individual designs, sometimes Tilda does it as well. But once they're finished, and we have other ladies who paint them as well, um, and all with the same meticulous detail. So when the painted glass comes back to us, it comes into this area here, where the, the finishing goes on. So uh, Tilda here, who you've seen in the paint department, uh, checks either every piece or at least she spot checks right the way through the wooden rack uh, to make sure they're nice. But if you've got a good painter, you really only have to spot check because you, 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 you know they've got it right. Uh, so that's what Tilda's doing. Every piece we goes through this quality control checking for the paint as it does it at every stage, as you've seen, they're holding up the prints when they're printing. Right now, here, Jenna, who you've seen printing, is assembling the printed, the painted work that you've just seen uh, Tilda checking. So it's over now to the assembly area where uh, a spacer is added and then two pieces of glass. So it's like a sandwich and you build up numbers of them because we never do one at a time so we don't need she's now flattening the the lead it's extruded u-section lead which split pins through a chain so the chain's fixed inside it so the flux she put on and now the solder and just the, the right amount just to make it flat and neat neat then she's burnishing the lead down to make the lead flat because we want the lead to grip the glass to stop it rattling. So when it's in your window in your home, or if you're giving it as a gift, it, it'll, it'll last and it, it'll, it'll, it'll feel nice as well as look nice. There's the other solder. Now that's finished. A last check. Nice light coming through the window so Jenny can spot where there's any last minute defect. So that is uh, puffins from uh, Iona, uh, taken from Staffa. All round the coasts of the UK we have puffin sanctuaries and islands from the Farne Islands through to Wales, through to Scotland. Now we're going to go from the assembly area. Jenna will pass them, when she's finished them, over to the table here where Mandy, who you've seen before doing the boxing, she's now putting the products in the boxes. She's checking each piece and as it goes in so right throughout the process, every person um, quality control checks. Daffodils are a symbol of hope uh, for hospices as well, but uh, with this COVID uh, time, the daffodils are particularly hopeful of the sunshine that we've all been denied. Each piece has got, got a quality control checker on the back so that we know that Mandy's got her own label there. So if it comes back to us in the, uh, 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 for some reason saying there's a bit of paint missed off, then we know exactly who to go to <laughs> to, to say, Mandy, you... But, but that said, it, it rarely happens. It rarely does happen because right throughout the process, everyone has done their bit to ensure that you, the buyer, when you get these uh, individual designs, which we've taken such trouble to get nice, um, that you will appreciate it and you won't find anything wrong but just in case we, 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 we can track it back so tracking is very important so 
This whole area um, is where we assemble our other products as well. It's not just the roundels and the, pan and the panels, the church panels, which we're not showing you here, but it, these could be church panels going through. But all of here are all our um, box stock, not too many because we've got thousands of designs now. Uh, uh, and for these are the over overruns, ready for the next order. But so, and here we have different sizes. Here, here are the six-inch rounders you've just been looking at in here. And then at the back there, you'll see there's rows of the static cling products, which we will come to uh, later. We'll walk round and I'll show you. These are our paperweights because we do um, lovely. Um, paperweights and uh, here for instance that's the um, paperweight for Lincoln of uh, Bomber Command uh, so the, the, the dam busters if you like for Lincoln Cathedral where they have their memorial window this is from it so it's an example how we can do bespoke images in in these um, uh, lovely glass paperweights so unlike a normal paperweight it's not paper it's hand-painted glass and you can see that um, there's a ship of souls from um, William Morris's, Burne Jones's, Burn Jones's ship of souls. So we can do this bespoke for any museum, any cathedral, any design can be hand painted in here. Or sometimes we put a piece of film in between it. If, 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 if it's too complex for hand painting, then this would be a bit of film, uh, printed film. But usually it's... Uh, so here we have the, the paperweights, and they're all like this, so everyone we go to, there, there is Norwich Cathedral, for instance. Um, the depth of the glass means that the light can bounce underneath it and come up through, so the flat side is the top side, unlike normal paperweights where the rounded side is the top. But that's an example of how we can do buildings as well, so... Uh, any, any building can be done this way. We'll finish off with the with, with the um, stained glass because there are um, panels that we do. Um, I, you probably can't see this, but this is a lovely one. I'll spin round to there, or perhaps here. Maybe you can see that. Um, absolutely delightful. Um, we have many such nativities from all different cathedrals. And if they've got their own cathedral, then, then they will have that one as well. That's an example of how we can do panels. Well, not just roundels, we do panels. Uh, that, that was from Wakefield uh, Cathedral. We do many William Morris. This is Praising Angel. And it's absolutely exquisite. Let me just like that. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, I can take it out again and show you a bit more because it's in the end it's the light look at the lovely colors the angels of flame flame is coming out of a head we do a lot of pre-raphaelite ones uh, not just in brampton church but in oxford uh, christ church and many other places um, so we can do bespoke details from windows or the whole windows themselves we are passing some wonderful um, mirrors because we make these hand, the hand, the glass, and they're handmade, but these are not hand painted. This is an example of um, it's it's a it's a mirror. We call them slim lines, and this is art school Glasgow art school mirror, which is we took this design from the iron railings outside the front door. So it doesn't exist as a, as a, as an actual mirror, like many of our designs, but they are inspired by um, this. So. There's a hanger on the back, and you're able to uh, nicely finish with tape uh, how to care for your mirror. And this will hang on the on on the wall, and, and there's just enough room there to do uh, any attention as you leave the door to make sure you're smart. Um, so they're and they're in boxes. So these are a really nice giftware item for many of our uh, cathedrals and museums. Uh, bespoke sometimes of their own design, but they they sell out at about thirty pounds to the visitors. So, uh, so that's a typical example. But we have many others. That's a more artistic one. But there's the Macintosh rose again. 
Most of these are inspired by Charles Rennie Mackintosh, but it's handmade in the borders of Scotland, which we are, by winged heart stained glass. Uh, the borders are on two sides, of course, like they are in the Welsh borders, they're on two sides. But, but you can see this is hand-applied hand lead with um, special film. Here's another one, two buds. So there's, this is very popular because it can be any colour, um, but this is the, the couple, uh, it represents the man and the, the woman t together who are uh, nodding away together. And, and these are often in entrance halls. Um, we also do very large ones. So this is a, a man small mantelpiece mirror. It's a little bit dusty, but uh, this is Macintosh's triangles. Now this is, most people don't think Macintosh did triangles, but he, he, he did um, a house down in Northampton and um, the museum there sells these pieces. Uh, and it's uh, rather lovely with iridescent colors. And again, we make quite a few of these. We, set, we have to send them out in a crate, obviously. So those are the mirrors, different shapes, different sizes. Um, and on our mirrors website, you can see these. Um, along here are all our static clings. Now these are very inexpensive uh, souvenirs for cathedrals. Um, I don't know if you can see this. This, this one is Cathedral of Chartres, King Louis's father, um, Philippe Augustus, and uh, in Chartres. Uh, so this is, was a typically bespoke one for the, the lady buyer in the gift shop there. Can we please do some special designs for Chartres, which we can sell in this? Because this is our original artwork. We did it the same process you've seen, where we, we hand paint the design on glass. But because to make it inexpensive, uh, selling uh, at about six, seven euros, sort of, sort of selling out there, probably about ten, ten dollars or something like that in America. Um, but there's with a header on top, which again shows you this. It tells you all about it. Le roi Louis Louis the Eighth. Okay, so it's Louis the Eighth who got it. And on the back is all about in in French this or it could be in, in English of course if it's an English one and uh, just a little barcode here so that it's friendly to, to, to the, the gift shop like this but be, as it's now printed it's it's on static cling material so you can just stick it in a website and we'll show you some uh, uh, later on but but that they, they they can be posted in an envelope they're wonderful things uh, and as I say they're very inexpensive so people very often you get visitors buying three, four, five, six of them at a time because it solves all their uh, problems for all the friends at home, back home. But that's that one. But here's St. John the Divine, New York. Now that's a very important uh, uh, customer we have there. I don't know if you can see that against the background. But, or I'll move it here. So we do the buildings because that, that's something we, 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 we photograph that when we went to see them. And then we've come back and inspired by it, we, we have redrawn it. So this has got approval from the buyer and then they give us the approval to go ahead. But so we, we can do buildings and we've done many of them, uh, all Notre Dame Cathedral and uh, Saint-Chapelle and um, many places uh, in the US and Europe and Britain, West, Westminster Abbey and uh, But so they're all the same format. So they, we call these static clings, uh, static clings. And they are, they're printed, but they're static material. So you just stick it on the window, no adhesive, and it just sticks in place. Um, as I say, it sells out at about six or seven pounds, but eight, nine euros and ten dollars, depending on the price. So um, we do many of them. Here's another one from St. John the Divine and that's that's the whole window. So you can see that that's the whole window and they're particularly pleased with that because that's the life of St. Francis. So very popular saint. Um, and so we've done the whole window. That was hand painted and then I took a photograph of our hand painted original. So we have many St. Patrick's new 
for our American visitors, I'm concentrating, I suppose, but this is St. Patrick's Cathedral, New York. I don't know if you can see that. Um, uh, we, we've done work for them for many years, and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Put it here. We specialize in rose windows because they're very popular. Our, our buyer there, his name is Patrick, and he's uh, in St. Patrick's Cathedral, New York, which is very appropriate. Okay, we've come to the end of this uh, very interesting uh, video that we produced on how we've approached making small batch craft production of quite a variety of items which have started off as glass sheets, went through having the hand print on the black outline and then to have the colours applied by brush and, and assembled uh, with the lead around them and gift box, the whole process. Uh, I hope it's been of interest to you because it's certainly been of interest to us evolving over a number of years, this, this process, but it works for us and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it uh, and uh, it'll give some pleasure. Thank you very much for coming and uh, I hope to see you again. And if you want to look at some of the other videos, that we have produced alongside, then we're most happy to see you there. Okay? Bye!